input text. In Windows 10, you can create multiple desktops for organizing different sets of applications. To create a new desktop, follow the given steps. Click on the Task View button located on the taskbar. The Task View pane opens and displays the preview of all the open windows. Click on the New Desktop button on the Task View pane. A new desktop thumbnail named Desktop 2 appears. Click on the thumbnail to view the newly created desktop. It is a replica of Desktop 1 but doesn't display the applications opened in Desktop 1. You can open the apps that you want to use on this desktop. You can group the desktop windows by opening similar kinds of apps in one desktop. Click on the Task View button again to switch between desktops. Now we will talk about moving apps between desktops. Follow the given steps to move an app from one desktop to another. Open the Task View pane by clicking on the Task View button. Place the mouse pointer over the desktop thumbnail. It will display the thumbnails of all opened apps. Right-click on the app that is to be moved and select Move to option. This will display the desktop list that you have created. Choose the desktop to which you want to move the app. The app will be moved to the selected desktop. You can also drag and drop an application window from one desktop to another. Closing a desktop. To close a desktop, open the task view pane and place the mouse pointer on the desktop you want to close. Click on the close button present in the upper right corner of the desktop thumbnail to close the desktop. Let us now discuss about utilities of Windows 10. Windows 10 provides many utility programs for day-to-day -day use and entertainment. For example, Windows Media Player. Disk Cleanup, Steps Recorder, Character Map, Notepad, Shape Collector, Map Input Panel, etc. Let us first discuss about Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player runs and organizes the digital media files, both audio and video, available in the computer's memory. You can also listen to the radio stations from all over the world if your system is connected to the internet. This application allows you to play, copy and create CDs or DVDs as well as copy music and videos to the portable devices. Students note that MPEG-H is a group of standards developed by the Moving Picture Experts Group MPEG for a digital container standard, audio and video compression standards. Now let us learn how to RIP copy CD to your computer. You can copy songs from your favorite music, CDs or DVDs onto your computer with Windows Media Player. When we rip music, we are actually copying songs from a CD to a computer. After the songs have been copied to our computer, we can use Windows Media Player to play and organize the songs, create playlists and copy music to a portable device. Let us see the steps to carry out the process. Click on the Start button and then choose Windows Media Player from the list. Insert an audio CD or DVD in the CD or DVD drive. You will see a list of songs stored on the CD DVD in the Windows Media Player. Uncheck the checkbox next to the song that you do not want to rip. You can use the checkbox at the top of the list either to select or deselect all the checkboxes at once. When you are done with the selection process, click on the RIP CD button. The ripping process will start and you can see the RIP status of individual songs. To stop the ripping process at any point, click on the Stop RIP button. Click on the RIP Settings button if you want to change the format of the file, enhance the audio quality of the ripped music files or keep the default Windows Media Format setting. The songs are ripped to the music folder in this PC folder. After the songs have been ripped, go to the music folder to play them. Alright students, 